Welcome to the party everybody. My name is Ant Dam and I will be giving you the basic tutorial of how to get started in Star Citizen. First, you will start off every time you die or get into the game in a bed somewhere. That is where we are now. You can move the mouse around in order to see what is going on, what's near you. If you press and hold F, you'll get this. You get a nice little mouse wheel indicator and you'll get the words get up. Go ahead and hit that. Once you do, your character gets up out of bed, and you see you can now walk around. Uh, T, as in Tommy, is for the flashlight, or the torch. That does change once you get in ships. But if you walk over here, hold F again, click on open, it's going to open that door. There's not much right now to do in that room, so pretty much you wake up and walk out. For a heads up, once you do walk out of the room, you cannot get back into it. Nobody else can get in this as well. So we are on a space station right now. I'm not sure exactly which one, but we're going to navigate our way to the elevators. If at any time, I'm sorry, you press and hold F again, and then click the left mouse button. If at any time you want to zoom in or you can't read something, you hold F and you use the mouse wheel to zoom in. So keep that in mind if you're looking for anything in particular, if you want to see something cool. I will give everybody a heads up. The only indicator that this elevator is moving are those two icons right there, which look like it's not moving at all. Oh, because it's not. All right, so you get in here. We're going to go straight to the lobby. You can see how many floors are on this station. We're going to go to the lobby. Inside, the only indicator saying that this elevator is moving is this right here. Or if you have anything indicated of what distance you're at, that can also help you to figure out if the elevator is moving or if it's just sitting still. Right, so these elevators actually go to a refining station and a galleria. So if you need to go elsewhere and a cargo deck if that is available on that station. So you can use those to get to those stations. From here, we're actually going to go to the left. We're going to go to Burrito Bar, not the right yet. And first, we're going to hold F, and then right mouse click, and unequip the helmet. When you do that, you'll notice a lot of the information on your screen has disappeared. And we're removing that so that we can go pick up a burrito, maybe a drink. You walk over to it, hold F again, and just click Quick Buy. Once you have this in hand, you go down to eat, and you eat. At this point, you do want to hold the left mouse button so that your character eats all of the sandwich. Now we're going to head over here and get something to drink. We're going to get a cola. Same process, holding F. F's going to let us select that the soda can we want. And then when you have it in hand, hold F again, and go to drink, and hold it while you're doing it. And you can see a little bar at the bottom right that shows you how much fluid is in this lip, in this bottle. You can see that it's now empty. Now your character will hold on to this soda can afterwards, so you do want to hold F and hit drop, and it will disappear into oblivion. Now hold F, right mouse button, and go to equip. Your helmet does not equip immediately, so be aware of that. If you hit F4, you can see your character, from the outside point of view, the third person point, if you hold Z, you can move the camera around like this. And you can see that I have now equipped my helmet. All right, so over here, the anytime you see one of these terminals, you're gonna be able to pull out either a land vehicle or a spaceship. So you walk up to it, you press and hold F, click use, and here's a list of all of the ships available to you. We're gonna pull the arrow out. We're going to pull the arrow 2 out because you can see that this arrow is stored at Port Olliser. So we do not want to pull that one out because we'll have to claim it, wait about 12 minutes, and then pull it out. So we'll just go ahead and claim this, or retrieve this. And as you can see on screen, it tells you where that station is, Pad 3. I'm sorry, where the ship will be. 
you do have global chat and in-game chat. If you press F12, you can see it pop up on the left. And there's some guys chatting in that right there. If you hit it again, it disappears. If you hold, I'm sorry, if you press F11, it goes right to your comms channel. And as you can see, this is where your pending friends list are, friend, friends request, your actual friends list. At the top of this list is the station that you're at. And you do need that to contact the harbor master for the most part. Um, but you need to contact that station in order to land and take off at certain length. And then channel, we're in the global channel, which is right here. You can make multiple different groups, parties, channels, add whoever you want to it. And there is in-game audio, which we'll get into that in a different video. But sometimes you'll see a bug out like that right there. Oh, can I collect his grenade? <laughs> sometimes you'll see a bug out where there's other players that just went in one next to it, showed up in this one. And what pad are we at? Pad 3. If you do ever forget what pad you're at, you can either go back to the terminal and see what pad the ship is sitting on, or you can just look on screen and you can see it right there. And that's one of those indicators I was talking about earlier. You were 4,500 meters away from the ship now, 4,000 meters and counting, because obviously we're getting closer to it. And other than that, the only way you know that the elevator is moving, those two right there. And here we have the Anvil Arrow, very nice light fighter. And this will be the introduction into the next video if you uh, are interested in seeing what we can do with that. Anyway, thank you guys for hanging out. Thank you for watching the video. Please like, subscribe, and comment. And have a great rest of your day. See you in the verse.